Well, today is a look back at 2020, sort of the fun and the tragic, uh, not to try to be too negative, but we do have a number of questions that will relate to what happened in 2020. So I've got the presentation up here and I'll just start off with our first question of the day. Uh, we'll see if you've been keeping up with the latest news and happenings in the world of wine. So here we go. First question is, which of these wineries was not sold in the year 2020? Was it Bonnie Dune, Burgess, Ferrari Carano, or Flora Springs, or Mary Edwards? So which of those five wineries? Lots of transactions happening out there in the wine world these days, either through generational change or people just had a tough year and it's time to move on to something else. Okay. Hopefully for better pastures. <laughs> Got some answers rolling in here as the, yeah. we play the Jeopardy music. Yeah. Two of our most loyal uh, trivia players, Steve and Michelle. Good to see you again. Okay. okay, we'll give you a couple of more seconds. And Veronica and Anna chiming in as well. So we have here A, C, D, uh, a shoulder shrug uh, as well. Um, <laughs> so yeah, answers a little bit all over the place. All over the place. Okay, we're off to a good start. There we are. And the answer is Mary Edwards. So Mary Edwards was sold, but it was sold last year in 2019. And it was sold to the uh, company that owns Louis Roderer. Um, this year, Bonnie Dune was sold to a company called the War Room Ventures. And um, as you know, they've been making great wines for many years. Randall Graham, their owner, is still affiliated and helping them out, but is, is not owned by him anymore. Uh, Burgess Winery was purchased by the same group that owns Heights. And they actually purchased it just a couple of weeks before Burgess was burned down in the unfortunate fires that we had here in Napa. Flora Springs was purchased by Bill Foley. And for, I mean, for our Corona was purchased by Bill Foley. And F Flora Springs was purchased by the Chateau Smith Ho Lafitte from Bordeaux. So lots of happenings in the world of wine in, uh, in the business and moving on to new owners and new generations. All right, our next question is, what or which event did not, I'm sorry, <clears throat> it's been a long day and a long year, which event did take place in 2020? So one of these actually did take place and the other ones did not. So was it Auction Napa, Napa Valley? Was it the Master Wine Exam? Was it the big conference Provine in Germany? Or was it the Texom International Wine Awards? So which of those did take place in 2020? Obviously, it was a tough year for many wine events uh, that unfortunately had to be canceled. And that was something that hopefully a lot of these things will be back in 2021. we got to get that vaccine out there. we got to get everybody healthy and safe. Some of you may have planned to attend one of these events and couldn't make it, unfortunately. Okay, we have some so answers rolling in here. Steve, Veronica, and Anna, and uh, Gabriella, Jerry, all with um, A's and B's as oh, their answers. Wow. Well, we're kind of stumping the crowd today, aren't we? It's actually the Texom Awards that took place. So Auction Napa Valley uh, was scheduled in June. The Master Wine Exam was also scheduled in June. Uh, Provine was also scheduled in the spring. And fortunately, uh, the Texom International Wine Awards were in February. In fact, uh, I was judging there. It was uh, right around the President's Day holiday that, that week in mid-January, mid-February, sorry. That was actually right before COVID really hit us hard. Um, and hopefully, again, they'll be back next year as well with their event, which always takes place in February. It's one of the first wine awards of the year so that takes place. 